Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and once again, it's cast time. Um, and let me go ahead and preface this by saying there is... I'm gonna have a fair amount to talk about, and there is gonna be a fair amount of moving parts on this one, so... Just a lot of, lot of visuals and stuff. Um, but yeah, so don't, don't be surprised if I make a few mistakes here and there, because like, like I said, it's... There's a fair amount here I gotta keep track of. For the let me um, intro this music real quick. Um, this is gonna be Kubu Schnitt, uh, continuous forms. It's uh, if you've ever heard the album, um, uh, if you ever heard of Craftworks. Oh, I wouldn't even say it's like that anymore. Yeah, I actually listened to a good chunk of this album. And I it's kind of hard to explain. I guess if the cover is anything to go by, it's a bunch of. I want to say kind of Muzak-ish techno music, like bit bit on the nerdy side. Oh, it's like it's like something you, it's something you hear in a in a documentary about Silicon Valley, or like a like a technology technology documentary or something like that, kind of like that. Originally, I was gonna say this music was kind of like um, Kraftwerk's. A computer world album until I actually heard part of it. Uh, not really. This is, but yeah, like I said, this is the kind of music you hear in like office documentaries, technology documentaries, etc. So, and let me go ahead and rewind that. I could have sworn I turned the sound off. Play that. Okay, yeah, it is coming through my headphones. It is. It sounded like it was coming from my external speaker there for a moment. Okay, we're gonna have to turn that down. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm still still checking this. I'm just gonna go ahead and stay close enough on that. So, uh, but for today's pinball session, uh, for the most part, it kind of went like yesterday. Um, FX3, it's a, it's a brand new week. So, a brand new week with matchups. Um, kind of got a good solid foundation going on that. So, I'm probably, um, as far as the overall rankings go, I'm middle of the pack. Hopefully. Hopefully by the end of the week I'll be uh, I'll be high enough in the rankings to move up to the next league. Um, right now, I think I'm I'm ranked silver two. No, silver one. Um, which means if I can if I do good enough this week I'll be promoted to gold three. Yeah, there's uh there's bronze, silver, gold, uh, diamond. I think it is. And then between those, there's three tiers, uh, three, two, and one. Well, I'm in a, I'm in silver, silver tier one right now. If I do good this week, next week I'll be up, I'll be promoted to uh, gold tier three. But anyway, um, that one, all right. Um, tournaments. See, tournaments, I think I did pretty good on. I don't think I beat any. But I did um I did high enough in uh in the rankings and all the tournaments I entered to to consider myself um, a good solid performance on them. So uh but pinball arcade, however, just like yesterday, it went pretty shitty. Just and I was actually getting some fairly easy tables too, tables that normally I do pretty well on, but no, just couldn't do jack shit on them. Um but Kitaro eighty seven. One of my longest standing uh, followers, he's, I, we've known each other for at least five years. He kind of sensed that I was about to abandon the session because I was so pissed off and he requested a uh, white water. It's a, uh, it was another table that I do pretty good on. All right, let me phrase that. That I, I can normally perform at least competently on. So he went ahead and uh, requested that table, got on it 
and I actually did pretty good on that table. I all, I came pretty close to beating my previous high score, so he made a good call there and saved the session. <laughs> um, but yeah, but um, after that, I switched over to Zachariah, um, and I actually did good on that. Act like has been going on, I actually did better on Zachariah than I did on Pinball Arcade, but I was only on Zachariah for like five or ten minutes. It was um. It was, I think it was past my 5 p.m. 5 p.m. cutoff, so I managed to maybe do like a couple tables. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. And then um, throughout all this throughout all this. I actually had a fair amount of people hanging out. Um, Guitaro87 was one of them. Jake Ryan, um, he's another um, another long-standing follower of mine. Uh, we've known each other for a fairly long while. I I want to say at least a year, but he came on. Um, another guy who pops in once in a great while. Um, Goddamn Mike. I think he's um, had a few name changes over the years. I can't even remember what his previous names were. A little embarrassing, but but he came on, and then some um, a few new people came on, people I'd never met before. Um, but yeah, it was uh, we had some great combo. Um, yeah, pretty good time was had by all. So overall, good stream. But um, anyway, um, after that, at some point, I think after I did some, uh, after I did some grocery shopping, um, I came back. I fired up some Final Fantasy XIV and did some more PvP. But uh, this time, it actually it went pretty bad. Um, I did a, I did a five-on-five five battle, and I also did what's called a frontline battle, where um. The three factions, uh, red, yellow, and black, black and gold. Man, it's where uh, three factions square off for like competing for territory and command posts and whatnot, stuff like that. But uh, it, but once again, it actually went pretty bad. Um, most mostly due to mostly due to lag. It freaking killed it for me. And um, I actually tried recording a tried recording a video. But it, but it, again, the even my uh, apparently, apparently all all of what was going on was too much for my computer, because there was parts where the video would or the uh, the game would freeze for several seconds, and then all of a sudden like warp me head to it would like you know to pick up where I, where the game left off. But like I said, the lag was really bad, you know, and in a lot of these battles too. Um, I'd be out of the middle, out in the middle of nowhere. Nobody'd be around me. All of a sudden, I'm taking damage and I'm getting debuffs, and you know, and all of a sudden, I drop dead. And then, all of a sudden, all my enemies just started appearing, like magically appearing next to me and all around me and stuff. So yeah, like I said, it's a really bad lag. <coughs> On Frontline, it was so bad, I just ended up bailing out of the session partway through. I wanted to do another five on five, but the way Final Fantasy XIV works is um whenever you whenever you suddenly abandon a session, it'll give you it'll put you in a, a 30 minute debuff. I forget the official name, like a lever debuff or something like that, but it'll lock you out for 30 minutes and you can't you can't join any other any other any other group content. So you're locked out. But um, after that, but yeah, after that, I tried uh, I drew, tried doing a one-on-one -on -one duel in my own area. Not nearly as laggy, but the kind of problem I had there is, it's like a damn ballroom dance. You know, I'm, you know, I'm not not that much of a wall wallflower, but you know, you got in one corner of the uh, dueling duel arena. A bunch of guys who are in the same guild, just kind of hanging out. I, 
you know, I didn't want to, like, get kicked out of the cool kids' table or anything like that, so I didn't bother asking them. And then there was, like, um, one or two people there just kind of, like, it was like they're jogging around or something. Like, they're, they were buddies, and they would, like, they would start duels against each other every so often, and then after that, they'd run around and chase each other. So I figured it would have been rude to interrupt. Um, and then there was, like, there was, like, two or three people sitting on the sidelines, like, outside the duel arena. Just sitting out there hanging out, and there's little old me kind of, kind of like in the middle of all this, you know, I like to duel with somebody, but you know. So eventually, eventually I just ended up, uh, I just ended up bailing out of that, just killed the session, and just called it a night. But yeah, like I said, originally about this music, I thought it kind of resembled, uh, or let me, let me just go ahead and throw it in there. Just for those that don't know, don't know what I'm talking about. And, uh, there might be a, there might be a blue patch that'll appear. I'll try to stop it though as quick as I can. Okay, got it. I think it's at 300. But yeah, like I said, this music here kind of resembles the music from uh, at least initially Kraftwerk's Computer World album I don't know if anybody's uh, if anybody's ever listened to this album before but um, it kind of sounds like this actually you know what something else just kind of occurred to me too hopefully I can remember the name Oh, God. Like meditations and guitar and electronics or something like that. I wish it, again, I wish I knew the name. Oh. Yeah, the name's on the tip of my tongue, but anyway. I don't, want to, I don't want to spend all morning trying to remember what it was, so I'll just go ahead and move along. Oh, that was it, that was it, that was it, that was it. Okay. Got it. Of course, I can't fucking spell. Got it. Way to go, Google. Yeah, th it just hit me. This, this music sound. There it is. I'm trying to find my stuff on Hope BS here, so some uh, very fine print. So if this, if this comes up kind of wonky, don't be surprised. And some of you that have probably checked out my uh, Final Fantasy 14 streams have probably um, have probably heard me play this album, Manual Gotchings Inventions for Electric Guitar. That. This music here sounds sounds almost exactly like this because there is some guitar work in here as well. But yeah, that was that was an, that was another album that came to mind when listening to this. I mean, yeah, it for those this might sound like a discount cheap knockoff version version of uh, all these classic albums, but at least this stuff here isn't copyrighted. So if I tried playing Crab Force Computer World, it get flagged just like that. Same thing with manual gotching as well. Um, and also, um, throughout the night, I've also been watching some more women's rugby, um, Ireland versus Italy, and um, 
and they're the referee. She's French, and I, I probably have to look into it further. But I would, I keep thinking that France and Italy are actually allies. In fact, since I got Google up, let me go ahead and look it up. Um, I'll explain more why here in just a second. No. No, uh, no, France and Italy don't, uh, apparently they're starting to, uh, what, what did it say, what did it say? Have opposing political perspectives. Relations are falling apart. Yeah, their their relations their relationship is falling apart, so they're becoming more and more enemies of each other. The reason I was kind of curious about this is because uh, the again the referee for this match is French, and um, how can I explain this? But she uh, she basically blew a call like really really bad, like really big time. Um, there was a what are the uh, what are the Irish girls the ball carrier she uh oh, how did it go but uh the the uh, Italian defender couldn't tackle her all the way she couldn't tackle her completely so the Italian ball carrier got up and no the other way around the other way around the um Italian defender she couldn't tackle her completely so the Irish girl, you know, got back up, you know, shook off the tackle and, you know, got, you know, scored the try. Or for those that don't, for those unfamiliar with rugby, a try in rugby is like a touchdown in American football. So, but this Irish girl managed to score a try, but this French referee called it back because she decided that the Irish girl was tackled. Despite the fact that all the uh, camera footage proved, that clearly proved otherwise. I mean, I mean, I bet you even the even the people in the nosebleed seats were like, she never tackled her, she never tackled her. I mean, they were disagreeing with the referee's call. I mean, hell, even the referee, she she actually uh, called for a video replay footage. And even the replay footage said that it wasn't a tackle. But uh, she still, she said the call still stands. So it just kind of had me curious about something like this, like, um, like if uh, maybe France and Italy were allies or something. But no, I looked it up. No, they're becoming enemies, so... So this referee made a t terribly shitty call. But I'm going to keep watching this match, though. But I have a feeling that... the I, Most certainly the Irish team, they can't trust this referee now. So, and um... But I think the uh, the Irish are probably going to start crying favoritism here. That's what I was thinking. But um, I think even the uh, even the Irish team or even the Italian team might be a little confused by this as well. So I got to feel so basically overall or to, to distill it all down, nobody can trust this referee now. So I got to feel what's going to happen is is. Both teams are going to start committing, intentionally committing a lot more penalties, you know, high tackles, you know, start doing more illegal shit. I mean, why not? Apparently, this referee is unreliable. You might, you, there's a chance you might get away with it. You know, because apparently, you know, apparently, this girl is like blind as a bat, you know. I mean, when you make a, when you blow a call this badly, yeah, they ain't going to trust her. So, again, they're... I got a feeling that there's going to be a, they're going to be committing a lot more penalties now. I mean, again, why not? I mean, the referee apparently is blind in one eye and can't see out the other. They, there's a chance they might actually get away with it. So anyway, I'm taking a, take out another drink of uh, Arizona green tea. Hold on. In case I didn't say what I was drinking earlier. Got a feeling the rest of this game is going to be pretty messed up. But, otherwise, um, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Um, 
I've said all the things I wanted to say this morning, so I'll just go ahead and call it good. And um, thanks, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And this will be my last cast for the week. Um, my work week has started up, so Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'll be at work. So you guys probably won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. So, but until then, though, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Bye now.